Tonight, we've learned the man accused in a brutal killing was an advocate for criminal justice. Police say body parts were found in the victim and the suspect's apartments. New surveillance photos show the suspect going in and out of the victim's home with bags, bins, even once wearing a wig. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal is outside Bronx Criminal Court with the new developments tonight. Sheldon Johnson faced a judge tonight and he was remanded back to jail. Now he's accused of dismembering a body. As to why, police are still trying to figure that out. This is the last image of Colin Small entering his Highbridge apartment on Tuesday, according to his super. It was a day later Sheldon Johnson, seen in surveillance images, was found inside Small's Summit Avenue apartment, discovered with him a torso minus the head and arms. Cops took him into custody. The first tenant tells me that she heard two gunshots that she came outside. It was the building super Orlando Medina who called police for a welfare check on Small after two neighbors reporting hearing gunshots from that sixth floor apartment. Giovanna Diaz's uncle lives directly next to Small. I was there on Tuesday with my uncle having dinner. So, you know, I just left that building and then the next day you just see the cops, the crime scene. The surveillance video tells a part of the story. Coming in and coming out of the apartment with Different articles of clothes, different wigs. So uh, it's weird. So that's why I, I called. In the images, Johnson is seen with a blue bin, cleaning supplies, and even wearing a blonde wig. Police say Johnson's shot small and then dismembered the body. Then a search of Johnson's Harlem apartment revealed the remainder of the body, the arms and the head inside of a freezer. It's nothing to say. There's no words to describe that. 48-year-old Johnson is no stranger to the law. He he was sentenced for attempted murder and robbery, spending over 20 years in prison. Since his release, he was working as a counselor to help at-risk youth at the Queen's Public Defender's Office. Last month, he made an appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast. And when I got out, I made a decision that I was going to walk away, and I didn't care about what the consequences was. And I said to myself, I've been doing bad for so long, I'm going to try to do something good. If all else fails, I could always go back to doing bad. Johnson is back in jail and he's facing charges of murder, manslaughter and criminal possession of a weapon. Now we called the Queen's Defender's Office and we haven't heard back. In the Bronx, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.